hi, this is Peter Carr, and this is going to be a demonstration of the Scout Mission Generation module that I've created as part of a multi-agent robot vehicle system uh, designed to search large open areas and send specialized robots to, to uh, targets. Uh, the search vehicles will be quadcopters. The vehicles that will be sent to the targets will be P3DX ground robots. Um, the first step in, in this process is to pull an image from Google Maps at a specified GPS coordinate. That GPS coordinate will be where our mission will start from, where the robots will be stationed. And that will be around right here on the map somewhere. That will be where our quadcopter will be. So the first thing we do is, is um, decide where we can walk and where we can't walk. We do this using candy edge detection and then my own uh, walkability algorithm. I'm going to apply candy detection now. So as you can see any areas that are white are detected as edges. We have the, the tree line up here is all edges. There's cars in the parking lot. There's a building down here, walkway, trees, um, this anomaly right here as well as a bunch of false positives which which we handle at the end, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Um, I'm just going to start to calculate the walkability now. Okay, so you see anywhere that was heavily white was scored high uh, as a cell, and those areas are marked as red, which is unwalkable, and everything else that's not marked is walkable. So these large open areas will be our search areas. Um, the way I did this was just cut cut the image into a variable grid size, and then score each cell as how much white was inside of it. Um, and then the next step is to identify these large search areas. Um, so every cell will be, every cell that is not boarded by a unlockable cell will be an open area. And then I have to use a blob builder algorithm that will build blobs and then segregate blobs that are not connected. So I'm going to, I'm just going to generate the whole mission now and continue to walk through it. Okay, so as you can see, there are about 22 search areas here, and we have the search areas represented with numbers. The, the path to each search area is represented with, by this white line, and every waypoint is represented by a black dot. So the, the numbers correspond to the order in which we will travel to each to each search area, and I use uh, Deitcher's algorithm to determine what areas to search in what order. That's the shortest path algorithm. Um, and then I use pathfinding to go between every blob and to go to the, the top and bottom of every other column in every blob. That's where you see this um, raster scan style thing going on, and you can see between every every waypoint it is pathfinding as well um, and we can step through the path so you can just see see how it will go um, but you can still see that we have large areas where we should be searching where um, these brown patches in the in the field have come up on, as edges so what we can do we can just go in and set these areas to walkable It's good to, to run this first um, without that, without um, touching anything, just to show that it can be fully autonomous and it can still search a good amount of the area. But And also you can see the Dijkstra's algorithm a lot better when there's a lot of different blobs. When I do this, there will prob probably only be uh, one main blob and then there will be this blob here and this blob here, which are unreachable. So I'm going to rerun the mission. 
And let's see that. Yeah, so now we have one main blob and the search area. It should We should be able to find any targets that are out in this field. We have a separate vision algorithm on the bottom of our quadcopter that will detect objects and then relay their coordinates to our main um, mission control module. And speaking of coordinates, um, another thing that I had to do was convert X and Y coordinates represented by these black dots uh, for the waypoints as as uh, latitude longitude and the way the way I did that was to use Euclidean distance from the center of the image to calculate we know the latitude and longitude at the center of the image and then using that relative to the zoom amount uh, when we pull the image from Google Maps we can use Euclidean distance to calculate the latitude and longitude of every coordinate. And then that's pretty much where we're at. The snow has just melted, so we'll be able to test within the next week. And maybe I'll follow up with a video of the quadcopter in action. And thank you for watching.